Listen, Todd, I'm so sorry. I... No, Ted, it's it's all right, honestly. The best man got the promotion. End of story. Thanks. Nice tie. Thanks. I should have worn a red tie to the interview. No, 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 no. Green, with white spots. What the hell was I thinking? My wife said, wear the green. It brings out your eyes. I had a red one on, and she says green. I have brown eyes, for Christ's sake. What the hell is she talking about? She has a point. They are sort of flecked with green. Flecked? Like little bits of, um... Is that how they talk at your new condo? Todd, relax. Come on. It's hard to relax when you get the promotion. You move into the new condo. Where does this leave me? Hey, now that's gone a bit too far, don't What you? did you do? Call May and say, hello, May. Why don't you make sure that Todd wears that fantastic green tie? Are you two up to something? Up to something? I see the way you look at her, the way she laughs at your awful jokes, the way she takes That's up... That's it. Enough. Yes, maybe you should have worn a red tie. Maybe you should have gotten the promotion. Maybe you should have gotten the condo because you got the promotion. But you know what, Todd? You didn't. I did. Would it should have could Would it should have could June? Yes, May? Remember when we both decided to bake cakes for Mr. Henderson's son's birthday party? Mm-hmm. And you said, May, make your vanilla. It's out of this world. It is. And you made chocolate. You walked in with that exquisite chocolate cake. There are only two kinds of cake, May. And it became pretty clear that the children liked the chocolate better. I mean, they didn't even touch my cake. I mean, kids just generally prefer chocolate. I just didn't think that... I really hadn't noticed that. Oh, no? No. And in the midst of this cake fiasco, you said to me, would you look at Todd in that green tie? He looks so nice. I never noticed before that his eyes are flecked with green. They are. So in he walks to Mr. Henderson's office, into the most important interview of his life, wearing that awful green tie on my recommendation. And there's his boss, remembering full well the fact that I, his wife, baked the wrong cake. What is it you're trying to say, May? I just never thought you were capable of being so... divisive. Divisive? It means sneaky. I know what it means. You ought to. You live it. You wish you had a wish you but you didn't. You wish you were. You wish you but you're not. No, you're not. You wish
Wow, Donnie. I can't believe your family's moving into that fancy new condo. Yeah. We've lived next door to each other forever. It's gonna be weird. But this new place is a pool, so you can come swimming anytime you want. Sure, sure. Donnie? Yeah? Remember last Father's Day when we went downtown and bought ties for our dads with our lawn money? Sure. And we both liked that red stripe tie? Um, I don't remember. And, and you said how dumb it would look if our dads walked into work wearing that same tie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would have been. So I bought that green one for my dad. That one was cool too, Danny. And our dads both wore the good luck ties that we bought them to that interview with Mr. Henderson for the promotion? Um, yeah, I guess so. And your dad got the promotion? And you get to move into the condo? With the swimming pool? You think I did that on purpose? Kind of, yeah. I do. Well, hey, maybe my dad's just smarter. Or maybe it's because your mom brought that stupid vanilla cake to Mr. Henderson's kid's birthday party. Vanilla? Yuck. That's so lame. Woulda, shoulda, coulda, woulda, shoulda, coulda, woulda, shoulda, coulda, woulda, shoulda, coulda. You wish you had a... Sorry about your boy, Larry. Yeah. Blew his brains out. Just like that. We never saw it coming. Well, how are Danny and May handling it? Good as can be expected, Jerry. I guess that that promotion meant more to Todd than anybody thought it did. Well, Jane and I thought he was a shoe-in, but your boy got it. We were all pretty surprised. Hmm. Jerry... I've been thinking. Yeah, Larry? It's been so great. We've been friends since... Forever. Our fathers were friends. Lived next door to each other. Your son Todd married my daughter May. My son Ted married your daughter June. In and out of each other's houses. Sometimes we'd forget where we all lived. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was like a beautiful dream. Uh, and then my son wears a green tie. And my daughter bakes a vanilla cake. Vanilla. What the hell was she thinking? And that's it. Over. Just like that. Poof. Our grandkids are enemies. June and Ted are moving away to that, that snooty golf condo. And with Todd gone, May's got to sell the house. Just memories now. When a life so full of sorrow Asks you what you've done Stick to what you know how Not, not what might have been Basements, they still mean cleaning does this have meaning now? Better wash the car. We meant to drift we meant to somewhere to fall. fall. But we had Where so much to do with hammer nails and blue. Hedges, trims and they still need clipping. Make it good. Most sets keep dripping. I'll do too. an honest job if you'll just find, find me my tools. We learned all the rules from the fix it book for fools. It's a book. We, we like, like to, to read. read. What never happened is so damned you. And Do all that did remember. is so small. Do 
will be a loner until the sweet akuui po comes strolling along. If she's younger and she'll kiss me, I assume you'll never miss me. Beneath the Kilahana First the state of collapse, then the state of decay. I was state of the art till I squandered my heart and it wasted away. When I chased you away, I had no place to stay. All alone in my room had to dance with the broom I embraced it and swayed I danced a rumba with time Which at first felt divine to me All of my partners were kind to me In my fantasy I dug tunnels through days lived my nights in a haze i made romance again all the boys were the same can't remember a name can't now remember a name wouldn't now. share them at all i was having a ball Chasing coattails and cocktails and orchids, the splendid who cares of it all. I danced a rumba with time, which at first felt divine to me. All of my partners were so kind to me. Love was so blind.
Park in the snow. I wore the wrong boots. You want to go? Let's just try to stay here for a few more minutes. As warm love turns to frosty ice, the penguins move to paradise. A chilly brow, an arctic flight, you know the fun. My toes are cold They freeze the bed The climate changes in my head 
This perfect polar pitch we've struck Love's cooled again Number two, please.
Next. Just keep moving, that's good. Thanks so much for coming. Good night.
As warm love turns to frosty ice The penguins move to paradise A chilly brow, an arctic flight You know the fun is over My toes are cold they freeze the bed The climate change Is in my head This perfect polar pitch we've struck Love's cooled again 
my awful luck It's getting cold out It's bitter cold It's bitter sweet That cold wind blows Us down the street The fever broke, it can't be fixed There's fog when hot and cold are mixed It's getting cold 